everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Autumn and I consider myself to be pretty average across the board. So if you want to see what my favorites are from the perspective of just an average person, uh, keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna jump into it, but I actually have quite a few entertainment favorites and I think that's mostly because Normally this time of year, I'm trying to like finish up bicycling and kayaking and all that stuff. But if you've watched my other videos, I've kind of mentioned here and there that I had surgery on my hamstring, hamstring to reconnect it. It's been a pretty extensive recovery. I go in a couple of days to see if I can get off of crutches, but I'm almost six weeks out from surgery and I'm still on crutches. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna tell you what my favorites are. All right, so the first thing I wanna mention is a blush from Cover FX. I mentioned in my haul video that I just filmed a couple of days ago. I don't think I've uploaded it yet though. I don't know what's going up first. Anyway, um, I, I mentioned that this particular shade was one that I was afraid of because of the swatches online. I felt like those, they made this look darker than what it is. So I never got it because I'm like, oh, that's not gonna suit me. Um, this one is called Spiced Cinnamon. And it's actually a really warm sort of rose shade. So I find that I am, since I am like a light olive complexion, what ends up happening with blushes and most products, if they lean a little bit too red or a little bit too pink, they make me look extra like olivey, extra green. They just kind of clash with my skin. So if I do like a pink, it needs to be closer to a coral. And if I do like a rose, it um, needs to be a little bit warmer. This gives that like almost sunburnt or windburnt sort of cheek look on me. Um, it may look different on people with a different undertone, um, but for me, this is great. The next thing I wanna mention is this little lip balm. So I'm very picky about my lip balms and I almost obsess over them. I have tons of them. I have to wear lip balm or I will bite my lips. Um, this is the Ilia Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask. So I guess it's a mask and not a lip balm. Um, and it's just like a little pot that I have. I'm pretty sure it comes in a bigger pot. This isn't a full size, but I ordered from Sephora from the, like the Sephora favorites and they had like a lip kit. Um, if it's still available, I'll have it linked below. But I got this in the lip kit and it really is super thick and balm-like. And it goes on clear. A lot of times like lip balms and pots like this will kind of leave like a white or like sort of, I don't know, gummy texture on your lips and I don't like it. Um, this one's great. So It Cosmetics CC creams have been a favorite of mine for a long time. Um, I'm almost out of these and I'm pretty sure I have backups of them. This is a product that I just can't be without, but their color range is very limited. And like I mentioned, I am a light olive and especially since I didn't get out much this summer because of my hamstring surgery and my injury, I don't have much color on my face or on my skin. And usually the light shade was working really well for me as far as like summer sort of skin. And as my tan sort of like fades and stuff throughout the winter, um, it would still kind of work for me. I found that the light shade worked pretty well. Unfortunately, since I haven't been outside a whole lot, I needed something to lighten it up a little bit. And so I checked this out because people were complaining about how uh, the CoverGirl skin milk was a little too greasy on them. And I just needed something to kind of mix in with the It Cosmetics. So I got the shade Fair and it doesn't lean too pink, but you can see how light that is. Um, I will say though, it's so bizarre. It smells like feet. I don't know what is in it that makes it smell like feet. And then the It Cosmetics um, has a slight like citrus or lemon smell to it. And so when I mix them together in my hands to put them on my face, it smells like lemons and feet. Yeah, I don't know what is in that to make it stink so bad. But anyway, this works great as a mix in for this if you're having a really hard time finding a shade of this that works for you. I haven't worn this on its own. Obviously it's too light for me. Um, the next favorite I wanna mention is the Lancome Tent Edol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I actually got this in one of those um, Sephora promo codes, I guess, that you put in when you make an order. And I kind of guessed at the shade. Well, this shade is actually perfect for me, which is 215023 is what it says on the bottom. I think it actually has a name. But anyway, 
I liked it so much that I actually went and I ordered the full size and I'll probably just stick this in my travel bag. I don't know if any of you guys do this that have a ton of makeup, but I don't like packing to go like traveling or anything like that. So I actually have a bag that is like my everyday makeup bag here at my desk. And I kind of switch things in and out just to make sure my favorites are in that bag. And then that way I can just grab the bag and go if I'm traveling. So that works out really well for me. So this is something that I'm gonna keep in that bag. Also, just to let you know how many things I'm working from here. Ooh, what's going on back here? Okay. <laughs> um, just to let you know how many things I'm working from here. On my desk, I have a thing of makeup that has the stuff I'm trying to use up. Then a thing of makeup I'm trying to try out. And between the two of those is the stuff that then goes into the travel bag. Usually the try out stuff though is what switches things in and out. Not that you needed to know that, but that's kind of my system. I have one skincare item that I want to talk about and it's the Ordinary 100% Plant Derived Squalane. And I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. Again, I don't know what I'm posting first, but about a month and a half ago, I got perioral dermatitis around my mouth and my nose. And I think it was because I was so stressed out at Army and there was like a lot of stuff going on. It's something that can happen hormonally when you get to about my age. I mean, there's tons of things that can cause it. They don't know the exact cause for it though. Um, but there are a couple things that can lead to getting the dermatitis. Um, the problem is though, a lot of the times to get rid of it, you have to take antibiotics. And I couldn't take an antibiotics before a tendon surgery. So I was on my own just with whatever skincare I needed to use. So I actually pared down my skincare quite a bit and I use like super gentle products. And the thing that flares this up a lot is too much moisture. Um, this is actually pretty close to the natural sort of sebum that your skin produces. So this does not aggravate this or make it worse. If I'm feeling super dry, I always kind of get the urge to put a ton of moisture on there and then I will wake up the next day with like little tiny blisters. Um, but this doesn't make it do that. So just wanted to put that out there if you're somebody who is struggling with some perioral dermatitis. The next thing I want to mention is this YSL Libre Eau de Parfum. So there's three iterations of this through YSL. They have the Eau de Toilette, they have the Eau de Parfum, and then they have the, I think it's just the Intense Parfum or Eau de Parfum. And they all smell a little bit different. My favorite one though is just the regular Eau de Parfum. And I actually found that I liked it first through Dossier. I did a Dossier video, which again, I'll have linked right here for you. I did that Dossier video and I'm like, I really like this smell. And the perfume itself isn't that expensive and I order quite a bit from Ulta. That's like where I get my staples, like my skincare staples, um, hair care, all that stuff comes from Ulta. So I amass points really quickly there and I will treat myself to a perfume every time I get points there. That's kind of how I've been like doing my points lately. It's almost time for me to get another perfume too, so I'm super excited. But anyway, um, I ended up getting this with my points and I absolutely love it. The Dossier one is great too. It's a little bit sweeter. I find that all of the Dossier fragrances tend to go a little bit sweeter and maybe a little bit heavier on the top notes as opposed to putting um, their focus into the dry down and the base notes. That's the big thing that I find with Dossier fragrances. But their version of that is really close. It's just a little bit sweeter. So anyway, this has been a favorite. It just makes me smell or it makes me feel like I'm luxury, um, which I think everybody wants to feel like they're <laughs> luxury, but that's been great. It's it's a lavender based perfume, which again, lavender typically might lean a little bit masculine, but I don't feel like it does with this. It just feels luxury to me. Mm. All right, so now something that's a little bit like not as luxury and it's this O'Keeffe's Healthy Feet Night Treatment Foot Cream. So without going too into it, um, when I came out of ARMY, like my summer of ARMY, my feet were torn up. And it is every single year, my feet, um, they get contact dermatitis from being hot in the boots. Again, same little blisters and things like that. And then when the blisters go away, my foot peels um, and it's super nasty. So then my foot looks awful and I've tried like filing it down and everything and then it just my foot just always looks flaky and gross. I started using this 
and I saw immediate like differences um, in my feet. It, it doesn't take a huge amount. Yeah, just to start with a small amount. It doesn't take a huge amount and my feet did not look as peeled and as nasty as they did before. So this is like super inexpensive. I highly recommend it. Okay, next thing is a hair thing in which I'm gonna like use a little bit now because my hair is looking a little bit wild. Um, here's the thing, I straightened my hair yesterday and then I think I got it a little bit damp when I was washing my face last night so it doesn't look straight now. It looked so much better yesterday. Um, but I will put this in my hair for a little bit of texture. And by the way, this is Joyco's Hair Shake and it's it's a liquid to powder um, texturizer but it's just like a sea salt sort of spray. Um, and it just adds body and texture to the hair. Like, but normally when I use this, I put my hair, I do like a beach wave with the straightener on my hair. Oh, I might have sprayed a little too much. Yeah, now my hair looks wet. Um, so I will do like a beach wave with my hair and then I will spray that in. And by spraying that in with the beach wave, it actually takes a lot of the curl out and just makes it look more of a wave. Um, and then it gives it really good texture. Uh, it's not good, it, it doesn't look good. And I find that the texture is also great if you wanna put your hair in an updo and you don't want it to kinda of like slip out or anything, it's really great for that. Um, I usually don't do it on straight hair, like I just sprayed it all over my head and I think my hair looks worse. It really does work better on if like you put a wave or a curl in it and then you spray it through that. It just kinda gives you like that messy, um, lived in hair. So now I want to talk fashion a little bit with you. I've been uh, working a little bit to kind of consolidate my closet. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this recently on my channel and I probably have some new subscribers or people that haven't seen my videos in a long time so I'll mention it again. I do have a thyroid issue and it makes it very hard for me to lose weight um, and I have to exercise my butt off to be able to um, lose any kind of weight. I have to like diet and exercise like super, super, super hard in order to do that. The thing is though, I have been laid up with an injury now for quite some time plus COVID. I've gained a ton of weight. I'm the biggest I have ever been. And so fashion wise for me now, I still kind of like to look put together, look a little bit luxe. Um, I like to say luxe, but really, I really like that, um, sort of just like chic look where you can just like throw a blazer over any outfit and it elevates it. And I'm also trying to do a capsule wardrobe. And so since I'm trying to do a capsule wardrobe and I'm trying to invest in different pieces, that makes it hard like when your weight's fluctuating. So I usually buy pieces that will look good if they're oversized on me later, if that makes sense. So one thing that's been super comfy after my surgery because I didn't just like want to go around everywhere in sweatpants has been these sweatshirts that I got from Target and I think it's the neckline that just kind of makes it look a little bit more chic and a little bit more elevated. These are by A New Day um, and they are called, what's it called? I don't know if it actually has an like a, like a real name on it but I will leave these linked below. And there are also like these ankle length slacks that have like a line down the front that also kind of feel like elevated sweatpants. And I've been wearing those a ton. I have them on right now where I would show you, I would stand up and show you, um, but they're awesome. So again, I'll have those linked as well. So another thing is I have been trying to watch my weight while I am pretty much laid up and I cannot move. And one of the things that I struggle with is kind of a sweet tooth. So I started using this protein shake and making um, milkshakes with it. The cool thing about this protein shake though is it gets really thick like a milkshake. So usually what I do is I'll either use a frozen banana and add a little bit of like almond milk and then blend it up in my blender or I will just use straight up ice cubes with some almond milk and blend it in my blender if I don't want that banana sort of taste. And it's 170 calories. This one has caffeine. I have one that's like a peanut butter cup flavor that has no caffeine in it. And um, it has tons of like vitamins and nutrients. And this is the most delicious protein shake I have ever had hands down. You can get this at GNC. So again, I'll have a link for you. Um, they have tons of flavors. They have strawberry, which I've used that as well. 
absolute best protein shake ever. They're delicious. And also speaking of food, these. I got them at Costco and I had never heard of them before. Maybe I'm just like in the dark when it comes to fruit. But these are called apple pears. They're like the shape of an apple, but it's a pear. The cool thing about it is sometimes if you get like regular pears, they're a little bit kind of mealy when you go to bite into them and eat them. And the cool thing about these is they're super crisp like an apple. It's got a little bit of that pear texture, but it's definitely like a pear taste. Um, and these are like my favorite thing right now. They're like super crisp and yummy. Um, I cut mine up and eat it. I'm sure you could just like eat it like an apple, but I like to cut mine up. All right, so we are already into the entertainment thing and I have been aimlessly scrolling through TikToks again because I've been laid up and I've been watching this lady on TikTok. I've watched all of her videos where she talks about perfumes. And, and originally the reason I really got into perfumes and really like the stories that they had to tell and fell into all of that stuff is because there was a YouTube creator here called Katie Puckrick and she always had the best perfume recommendations. I'll leave her linked below if you wanna check her out. Her old videos are all still up. She just doesn't make any now. Well, this new lady, I found her on TikTok. She apparently has a YouTube channel as well, but it's not dedicated to fragrance. It's dedicated to other stuff. But if you have a TikTok, check her out. Um, her handle is Krusty Old Mummy. Like, oh, kind of. Look at my phone, it's about to die. Um, I'll have her information down below, but her videos are so well done. Like when she talks about a fragrance, it's like, it's poetic in a way, just the way she talks about the fragrance. I absolutely love her videos. Um, so yeah, I'll leave her YouTube linked below and all that stuff, but my favorite thing though from her is actually just the fragrance videos. So I'm a big podcast person. I like to listen to podcasts like while I'm walking, while I'm doing housework, that sort of thing. Also while I'm putting my makeup on, I love listening to them. But anyway, there's one that I've been listening to recently and it's called Something Was Wrong. And I just finished up, I think the current season where they were talking about this guy who was pretending to be a doctor. Um, I don't wanna give too much away, but like he wasn't, he was scamming a bunch of people and he started to threaten them when they would get on his case. It was wild. Um, it's like Dirty John level wild. But anyway, if you were into the podcast or you like that sort of thing, I will leave it um, again in the description box for you. And then I also want you in the comments to tell me what your favorite sorts of podcasts are. Okay, so as far as TV goes, there's a new show out that has Martin Short and Steve Martin and Selena Gomez in it. And it's called Only Murders in the Building. And it's kind of like a twist on podcasts where they have a thing going on and they're doing their own investigative reporting. Um, and it's kind of like that whole like sort of like civilian vigilante sleuth thing mixed with a podcast. Um, and then it also has the element of like a little bit of like clue and then you're watching everything unfold. So I have really been enjoying watching that recently. And then my last favorite has actually been Melissa McCarthy. She has come out with like two recently like new shows that I have been, well, one's a movie, one's a show. But she's come out with um, two things like within the same week or so. They're both serious roles, which I actually enjoy. She's still funny within these serious roles though, but I think she's really uh, spreading out and doing such a great job um, with acting and not just being like that totally out there crazy character. Um, so I've been really impressed with it and I've enjoyed watching them. But anyway, the first one is called The Starling or Starling. I forget, I'll have it here on the screen and again, linked below. And then the other one is, um, I think it's called Nine Perfect Strangers and it is about these people who go to um, like this sort of like spa retreat and it's got Nicole Kidman in it, but they've all gone to the spa retreat for like different reasons and like the story unfolds, it's absolutely wild. It's so good. Um, anyway, those are all my favorites. Um, I do wanna mention another thing though too because I said I would announce it yesterday and I didn't. Um, so I have been hiding giveaways in my videos towards the end and so the person who won my dossier uh, fragrance video giveaway is the only person who actually 
made it to the end and commented, <laughs> um, which is just, it's good to me to let me know that like, I'm obviously not as engaging as I think I am, which I don't think I'm engaging, let's be honest. But it's good to let me know like how much video people can actually stand. That was a long video. Um, I did put chapters in it, but they didn't make it to the end. But the winner of the dossier is Margot Whitlock. So she didn't have Instagram and that's how I had planned on contacting people. Um, so since, since she didn't have Instagram, Margot, if you are watching this, I need you to look in the description box and find my email and email me your information so that I can send you the perfume. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. So won't you come closer?